Okay, problem number seven reads, in the figure below, the larger circle has a radius of six centimeters, and the smaller circle has a radius of two centimeters. Okay, so the radius for this larger circle, the outer one, this whole circle here, is a radius of six centimeters, and for the smaller one, so from here to here, the smaller inside circle has a radius of two centimeters, and our goal is to find out what is the approximate area of the shaded region. So we want to find out what's the area of this space, this um, space at 30 degrees, that is has our six centimeter circle, but taking away the area from the two centimeter circle. So what we want to do is basically find out how much is this whole area, and then subtract however much this little area is, and that will tell us what our um, what the area of just the shaded region is. So first thing I'm going to do, I just want to find out what is the area of this uh, big circle and then how much would 30 degrees of that encompass. So if we have the big circle has a radius of radius of 6 centimeters. So the area of this circle would just be our equation for area is pi times the radius squared. Radius is 6, so area is going to be equal to pi times 6 squared. Okay, so area is equal to 6 squared is 36, so 36 pi. Area is equal to 36 pi, or if uh, we want to round that answer, 36 times pi is about 113.1, about 113.1 centimeters squared. Okay, so this is our area for the whole big circle. Now, we only have 30 degrees of that, so we only have 30 degrees of that, so let's just, this is the 30 degrees, we want to find out how much is just this little 30 degree segment of it. And the way we can figure that is just like what fraction is 30 degrees out of the whole circle. So the whole circle is 30, 360 degrees, right? 360 degrees is the whole circle, whole circle, okay, whole circle. And we have 30 degrees. We have 30 degrees. 30 degree segment. We have a 30 degree segment. So to find out what fraction 30 degrees is from 360 degrees, we can just put those over each other. So 30 over 360. This would just simplify to 30 divided by 360. To do simplification like this in your calculator, you could set up your fraction. We have uh, 30 divided by 360. This is, I mean, I encourage you to do this by hand, but if you want a little help, 30 by 360 simplifies to 1 over 12. So 1 twelfth. Okay. So in other words, we're going to have 1 twelfth of 113.1. So if we take the whole area and we take 1 twelfth of that, so 113.1 times 1 twelfth. So I'll take 113.1 times 1 twelfth. This gives me I'll just 9.425. So this area, this is 9.425 is the um, this is the area of 30 degree segment on large circle. Okay, that's what this 9.425. So that represents on a large circle. This whole area is. 9.425 centimeters squared. So we need to then take that whole area and subtract from it the amount of this little small segment. So now let's just figure out how much would that little small segment be. Okay, so this was all for our large circle. For our small circle, I'll just do that in this corner here. Okay, so we had a radius of 2. Radius of 2. So the area for this would be area be pi times r squared, so times 2 squared. Area is equal to 4 pi. And again, it's just 30 degrees of that, so it's going to be 1 twelfth. So 1 twelfth of 4 pi. Uh, and 4 pi is about, 4 pi is about 12.5, 7, I'll just, I'll just say 12.6. So we want to find out. 1 twelfth of this, so 12.56 times, this is the area for the whole circle, 12.66 times 1 twelfth will give us just a little 30 degree segment, give us that little 30 degree segment. Okay, 
just moving this up. So I'm trying to find out how much is that 30 degree segment on this of this uh, circle. Okay, so 12.6 times 1 12th. 12.6 times 1 over 12 gives me 1.05. So 1.05. 1.05, this is the area of this little segment. That's the area of that little segment. So this is the 30 degree segment small circle. I'm running out of space here. So once we get this, we know this is 1.05 for the small part, 9.425 for the whole big area, so we just subtract these from each other. So it's going to be the, the bigger segment subtracting from that small segment. We have 9.425 minus 1.05. This gives us 8.375, and I'll just round that to 8.4. So 8.4, which answer is that? D. So D is going to be our answer.